Hello guys, today I want to show you all the different ways that I style my deathhawk. I washed it a couple hours ago and this is just an air dried. I have kind of wavy hair, still super thick. This is my go-to way to style it. I mean just some of it, it's a little peekaboo showing. If I'm feeling funky, I'll put all of it to one side. You can see how much hair I have. Even when I don't do anything to it, it looks really nice curls. I mean, this is all it to one side. Now, every time I wash my hair, I like to put in, I have Sebastian Potion 9. Redken Anti-Snap and then if I ever want to put heat to my hair I use Bedhead Control Freak. It is frizz control and straightener serum and I use that today because I will be straightening my hair. So the first easiest style I guess you could do is just gather it all together in a low ponytail. Nothing too crazy. I mean, it's a ponytail. My favorite go-to style is a higher ponytail. Now when it's this short, it, the hair does act like Velcro. So you kind of need to finesse it a little bit. And just. I need to stop wearing it like this because I think my hairline is receding. It feels very tight and I got lots of little breakage, but that is what I usually wear it like. And when I'm feeling lazy and I just need something quick, I need a bun. I just gather it all on the top of my head and then I twist. I don't twist all the way to the end, just loosely so that when I go to put it in a bun, it all wraps around itself pretty nicely. I just Easiest way to do a bun. It's a bun. <laughs> now, whenever I have greasy hair and I just want to look somewhat stylish, I do half up, half down. Now I try to put the ponytail more like right on the top of my head instead of like pointing out to the back. I find that it makes it look a little bit fuller. So, <laughs> sometimes it looks better than others, but... That's how that boy looks. Now, my probably all time favorite way to style it is with a Dutch braid. I'm usually, 
I tried to teach myself how to French braid and I just ended up doing a Dutch braid and I end up liking it better that way. By the way, this is my hair somewhat parted in the middle. You can't really tell that I have half my hair gone because I have so much. But I'm going to braid it now. I do a little little V or triangle, whatever. Two fingers, split it into three. Under. Under. Add. This way I find is easier because your piece that you're adding on to is right on top. And I just, I don't know, I find it easier. And you're sitting in my medicine cabinet, so the door is a little in the way, but I need you high enough. One day, I need to practice these a little bit more, but I would like to make a small braid going all the way down and another one, then like a big poofy braid, like some Viking sort of hairstyle. But I did break my hand, so trying to do this gets really exhausting. All right. So this is it in a Dutch braid. Again, it's not perfect. I have troubles keeping it tight towards the bottom, but my husband likes this hairstyle the most. All right, now what I usually do, because I don't like doing it all the way to the bottom, so that is a lot of work, is I usually stop it like way up here. So I'll show you what that looks like. Hopefully I can stop it at the right time. Maybe there. Just, just the top. All right, now I'm gonna try something that my husband always been nagging me to do. I don't know if it's because he's serious or he just wants to see me look like a fool, but I don't know if any of you have seen Napoleon Dynamite or that girl, I forget what her name was, wears her hair just to the side. I think it was her name Deb. I don't know. The side ponytail.
He's got to be messing with me. That is not a good look. All right. Now I've always wanted to try pigtails. Now my scrunchies aren't going to match. Don't come at me for it. Girls or guys, if you want to try short hair but you're too scared to do the commitment, get a death hug. It's like a half commitment. If you feel like having long hair for a day, just cover it up. Feel like having shorter hair, put it up. It's fun to be able to be that dynamic. I've been trying to convince my husband to let me either bleach or dye his hair like a burgundy or something. He's being a very big stick in the mud. But if anyone actually watches this, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that. And maybe, maybe he'll do it for a video. Give me some leverage. That's pigtails. Ooh. I look like I could be like a greeter at a circus or something. I don't know what the back looks like, but. A little weird. Hmm? I don't know what I'm doing. All right, I'm going to heat up my straightener and then I will be right back. All right, my straightening iron is all hot. I got my hair sectioned off. Just got a tiny little, little rat tail thing going. Just going to, you can't see what I'm doing. There we go. I have a little bit of 
Moroccan oil treatment to help with some of the frizz and flyaways. A little splat. Just focus it on the ends. All right, I'm gonna go put on something a little more feminine and I'll be back to show you what this all looks like. All right, I couldn't find the shirt I was looking for, so this will have to do. This is how I usually wear it when it's straightened. And what I like to do as well, if I have a uh, event or something where it's a little more conservative of a group. I'll try and split it in the middle to semi cover it up. And suddenly I don't have a shaved head. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or suggestions, leave them down below. I would appreciate it if you like and subscribe, and I'll be back in another video.